planes. 163. NASA and other space agencies have been caught time and again with air bubbles forming and floating off in their official outer space footage. Astronauts have also been caught using scuba space gear, kicking their legs to move, and astronaut Luca Parmitano even almost drowned when water started filling up his helmet while allegedly on a spacewalk. It is admitted that astronauts train for their spacewalks in underwater training facilities like NASA's Neutral Buoyancy Lab, but what is obvious from their space bubbles and other blunders is that all official spacewalk footage is also fake and filmed underwater. 164. Analysis of many interior videos from the International Space Station have shown the use of camera tricks such as green screens, harnesses, and even wildly permed hair to achieve a zero-gravity type effect. Footage of the astronauts seemingly floating in the zero gravity of their space station is indistinguishable from Vomit Comet zero-g airplane footage. By flying parabolic maneuvers, this zero-g floating effect can be achieved over and over again, then edited together. For longer uncut shots, NASA has been caught using simple wires and green screen technology. 165. NASA claims one can observe the International Space Station pass by overhead proving its existence, yet analysis of the ISS seen through zoom cameras proves it to be some type of hologram or drone, not a physical floating space base. As you can see in my documentary ISS hoax, when zooming in and out, the ISS dramatically and impossibly changes shape and color, displaying a prismatic rainbow effect until coming into focus much like an old television turning on and off. 166. The geostationary communications satellite was first created by Freemason science fiction writer Arthur C. Clarke and supposedly became science fact just a decade later. Before this, radio, television, and navigation systems like Loran and DECA were already well established and worked fine using only ground-based technologies. Nowadays, huge fiber optic cables connect the internet across oceans, gigantic cell towers triangulate GPS signals, and ionospheric propagation allows radio waves to be bounced all without the aid of the science fiction bestseller known as satellites. 167. Satellites are allegedly floating around in the thermosphere, where temperatures are claimed to be upwards of 4,530 degrees Fahrenheit. The metals used in satellites, however, such as aluminum, gold, and titanium, have melting points of 1,221, 1,948, and 3,034 degrees, respectively, all far lower than they could possibly handle. 168. So-called satellite phones have been found to have reception problems in countries like Kazakhstan with very few cell phone towers. If the Earth were a ball with 20,000 plus satellites surrounding, such blackouts should not regularly occur in any rural countryside areas. 169. So-called satellite TV dishes are almost always positioned at a 45 degree angle towards the nearest ground-based repeater tower. If TV antenna were actually picking up signals from satellites 100 plus miles away in space, most TV dishes should be pointing more or less straight up to the sky. The fact that satellite dishes are never pointing straight up, and almost always positioned at a 45 degree angle, proves they are picking up ground-based tower signals and not outer space satellites. 170. People even claim to see satellites with their naked eyes, but this is ridiculous considering they are smaller than a bus and allegedly 100 plus miles away. It is impossible to see anything so small that far away. Even using telescopes, no one claims to discern the shape of satellites, but rather describes seeing passing moving lights, which could easily be any number of things, from airplanes to drones to shooting stars or other unidentified flying objects. 171. NASA claims there are upwards of 20,000 satellites floating around Earth's upper atmosphere, sending us radio, television, GPS, and taking pictures of the planet. All these supposed satellite pictures, however, are admittedly composite images edited in Photoshop. They claim to receive ribbons of imagery from satellites, which must then be spliced together to create composite images of the Earth, all of which are clearly CGI and not photographs. If Earth were truly a ball, with 20,000 satellites orbiting, it would be a simple matter to mount a camera and take some real photographs. The fact that no real satellite photographs of the supposed ball Earth exist in favor of NASA's ribbons of composite CG imagery is further proof that we are not being told the truth. 172. If you pick any cloud in the sky and watch for several minutes, two things will happen. The clouds will move, and they will morph, gradually changing shape. 
In official NASA footage of the spinning ball Earth, such as the Galileo time-lapse video, however, clouds are constantly shown for 24 plus hours at a time and not moving or morphing whatsoever. This is completely impossible, further proof that NASA produces fake CGI videos and further evidence that Earth is not a spinning ball. 173. NASA has several alleged photographs of the ball Earth which show several exact duplicate cloud patterns. The likelihood of having two or three clouds of the exact same shape in the same picture is as likely as finding two or three people with the exact same fingerprints. In fact, it is a solid proof that the clouds were copied and pasted in a computer program and that such pictures showing a ball-shaped Earth are fakes. 174. NASA graphics artists have placed things like faces, dragons, and even the word sex into cloud patterns over their various ball Earth pictures. Their recent 2015 Pluto pictures even clearly have a picture of Disney's Pluto the dog layered into the background. Such blatant fraud goes unnoticed by the hypnotized masses, but provides further proof of the illegitimacy of NASA and their spinning ball planet mythos. 175. Professional photo analysts have dissected several NASA images of the ball Earth and found undeniable proof of computer editing. For example, images of the Earth allegedly taken from the moon have proven to be copied and pasted in as evidenced by rectangular cuts found in the black background around the Earth by adjusting brightness and contrast levels. If they were truly on the moon and Earth was truly a ball, there would be no need to fake such pictures. 176. When NASA's images of the ball Earth are compared with one another, the coloration of the land and oceans and relative size of the continents are consistently so drastically different from one another as to prove beyond any reasonable doubt that the pictures are all fake. 177. In the documentary A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Moon, you can watch official leaked NASA footage showing Apollo 11 astronauts Buzz Aldrin, Neil Armstrong, and Michael Collins for almost an hour using transparencies and camera tricks to fake shots of a round Earth. They communicate over audio with Control in Houston about how to accurately stage the shot, and someone keeps prompting them on how to effectively manipulate the camera to achieve the desired effect. First they blacked out all the windows except for a downward facing circular one, which they aimed the camera towards from several feet away. This created the illusion of a ball-shaped Earth surrounded by the blackness of space, when in fact it was simply a round window in their dark cabin. Neil Armstrong claimed at this point to be 130,000 miles from the Earth, halfway to the moon. But when camera tricks were finished, the viewer could see for themselves the astronauts were not more than a couple dozen miles above the Earth's surface, likely flying in a high-altitude plane. 178. People claim Google Earth somehow proves the ball model without realizing that Google Earth is simply a composite program of images taken from high-altitude planes and street-level car cameras superimposed onto a CGI model of a ball Earth. The same could just as easily be molded onto a square Earth or any other shape, and therefore cannot be used as proof of Earth's rotation.